。小小咪又到我们的故事时间了，请问今天要讲什么故事啊 ？The bear who wanted to read。对 ，The bear who wanted to read 这本书是你从学校借回来，你为什么借这本书呢？我觉得应该可以看一你觉得应该可以看一下，好像是跟一只小熊有关的故事哎。你会读字的吗？有 A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V。W X Y Z， 所以你学会了这些字母就可以开始看书了，是不是？小熊是不是也想要看书？你看看他为什么想看书呢 ？When Ben the bear first came to live with Max and Jenny, he was a little bit lonely. Jenny was at school all day, and Max was at preschool in the morning. There were a few other toys in the bedroom, but they were either too big or too little. Or want any fun? Ben picked up a book and looked at the pictures inside, but that didn't take very long. He wasn't sure what books were for. Maybe he could make something with them. The little ones could be building blocks, and the great big one could be a slide. All the rest of the books could be put together to make a path around the bedroom. 他把这些书当做是玩具，哎，看起来蛮好玩的。At bedtime, Ben found out what books were for. Jenny read Max a story about some animals who were sailing in a boat and found some treasure on an island. Ben thought it was wonderful, magic. When the story was finished, Max said, "Read me another one, please, Jenny." Yes. Thought Ben, more magic, please. Another time, said Jenny. It's time for sleep now. She turned out the light and got into her own bed. Ben lay in the moonlight and thought about the story. He really wanted another one. He got out of bed and went to the bookshelf. He chose a book, opened it, and waited. Oh, he chose a book and started to read it. Nothing happened. Ben turned a page and then another page. By turning the pages one at a time with the pictures the right way up, he could follow the story a little, but he couldn't make the story come to life the way Jenny had. Ah, so you know how important memory is. He just looked at the pictures. He couldn't satisfy. 他整个对故事想要知道的那个欲望，就是少了一点什么。He didn't know what the words on the pages said. Maybe I will learn tomorrow. He thought. He climbed back into bed and went to sleep. The next day, Jenny and Max got ready to go to go out as usual, but instead of staying at home, Ben went to preschool with Max. Preschool was fun. The other children had brought their toys too, and they all got to know each other. 好可爱哦！大家都带自己喜欢的玩偶哎，然后互相认识。Ben sat close to Max while he did some counting with colored shapes, and then some drawing and painting. Next, the teacher read a story about a cat and a mouse, and when it was over, the children would all went outdoor to play. The toys stay indoors. So, this toy, the toy, can't go out. They have to stay indoors. Ben looked around. He saw some pictures on the wall. One he noticed was a cat. Look, oh, sorry, like the one he had seen in the story. There was a word beside the picture. Oh, is this one? C A T cat. D O G dog. That must be the word for cat," said Ben, climbing onto a chair to get a better look. "It is," said the voice nearby. "C A T is cat." Who said that?" thought Ben, looking around. The voice came from a tiger. "I know that word because I'm a big wild cat," said the tiger. You don't look like the animal that has the word cat next to it," said Ben, getting off the chair. "Well, tigers are cats," said the tiger. 
Do you know any other words? Asked Ben. I know my name," said the tiger. "It's Tim. I can show you what it looks like if I want. If you want." 我刷认字 A 字会认字认字的老虎哎，好厉害哦。Tim pointed to a pile of blocks on the floor and back one on Ben to follow him. Backen, 对不起 ，backen for Ben to follow him. We can use the alphabet blocks," he said. "All words are made from letters of the alphabet." Tim found the letters he wanted. He put them in order from left to right. "This said Tim," he said. "The first one is a capital letter because names always start with capital letters, and Tim is my name. Can you find the letters to make the word tiger?" Ben looked at the word under the tiger picture, on the wall. Then he found five blocks with letters on them that matched the letters in the word. He arranged the bricks to make the word tiger. That's me, Team Tiger," said Tim. Hmm, they really made up the letters. I wish I could make my name," said Ben. Well, I'm sure we can find the word bear. Said Tim. Look, there is a picture of a bear. So that must be the word for bear underneath. So they found it. How do you spell bear? B-E-A-R. Bear. Ben and Tim looked around for the block letters that match match the letters under the picture. Ben and Tim looked around for the block letters that match match the letters under the picture. When they have spelled out bear, Ben was very pleased. But That's not my name," he said. "I wish I knew what letters I need to make Ben. What letter do you think it starts with?" Ben asked. "I'm not sure," said Tim. "But I think it's the same letter that bear starts with. Your Ben the bear is the same sound, so it must be the same letter." Hmm, how 厉害！一下就发现那个英语发音的奥秘的。Tim searched through all the blocks until he found the one he was looking for. It was a capital B, a capital B for the name Ben. He said. Now, what comes next? Ben looked at the pictures on the wall. There was one with the letter H E N underneath. Hen. That's it. He shouted. Ben sounds like hen. So. My name must be the letter B E N Ben. Ben was almost too excited to look for the blocks. He knew which ones he wanted, but where were they? Finally, he found the two others he needed to spell out his name. When the children came in from their break, a、uh, break, they were all very surprised to see their toys sitting around some blocks. 对啊，他们应该没想到我们的那个娃娃玩偶居然会拼字吧。The blocks spelled out the names Ben Bear and Team Tiger. The teacher was surprised too. Oh look, she said, someone has made some words out of blocks. Can anyone tell me what they say? Hmm. Someone whispered, Team Tiger. But the teacher wasn't sure who it was. Someone else said Ben Bear. But the teacher didn't see any of the children speak. 到底是谁在讲话 ？Max collected his things and got ready to go home. He picked up Ben and gave him a hug. Clever Ben Bear, he whispered into Ben's furry ear. You can help read the bedtime story tonight. 他的小主人知道是他拼的，好厉害哦！好，这是 the bear， 哦、oh, ，sorry， the bear who wanted to read Ben Bear， 他想要学怎么样读书？你会想要学怎么读书吗？想，想啊！好啦 ，the end。